Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss simultaneous equations. Before you continue with this video, please ensure that you are familiar with the grade 10 simultaneous equations. You would find this in our summary videos where we had discussed in detail simultaneous equations for grade 10s. When we are doing simultaneous equations, you will see that compared to grade 10, the method doesn't change. But the question gets more intense. So your simplifying gets more challenging. And because of the simplifying, you start making careless mistakes and you get it incorrect. Now, if let's take the following example. Y plus 2x is equal to 2. And y squared plus 2x squared is equal to 3yx. You will already notice that in simultaneous equations in grade 11, we already have upped the question to a second power. Whereas in grade 10, you had only worked with x and y to one power. When we're starting, number one, make x or y the subject. If you look at the two equations, always choose the easier equation which would give us y plus 2x is equal to 2. Then you can choose to make x the subject of the formula or y. It is better to make the one that is alone, to, to make x or y the subject based on which one is alone. y would be more correct in this case. So we have y is equal to 2 minus 2x. I took the 2x over. Then we are going to substitute into the, f the, the other equation, into the second equation. So we are going to substitute into the second equation. What that means is, wherever there's a y, I'm going to take it out from the second equation. And in place of that y, I'm going to put 2 minus 2x. So I would now have open brackets, 2 minus 2x, all squared. My y is removed. Plus 2x squared is equal to 3 into 2 minus 2x into x. Now after we substitute, we use all our previous knowledge on how to solve x, simplifying trinomials, quadratic equations, any method that you would like to use. Here I'm going to use simplifying where we start getting rid of the bracket. So we have 2 minus 2x into 2 minus 2x. There's the bracket is repeated two times. Plus 2x squared is equal to 3 into 2 minus 2x into x. Now we start doing the kitty cat or foil, the rainbow distributive law. 2 times 2 is 4 plus 4x squared minus 4x minus 4x plus 2x squared is equal to. Now here we can say x times 2 is 2x times 3 which will give us 6x. x times negative 2x is negative 2x squared times 3 gives us negative 6x squared. Now we make the equation equal to 0 6x squared plus 6x squared minus 8x minus 6x plus 4 is equal to 0. We have 12x squared twelve x squared minus 14x plus 4. You can now take out a common 2. We're left with 6x squared minus 7x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, so we have, once we factorized, we have 2x minus 1, 3x minus 2 for the trinomial. The 2 outside, we can just let it fall because it is a constant. If it was an unknown, then we would solve. But because it's a constant, we can make it fall. 
Now we solve each bracket. So 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, 2x is equal to 1, and x is equal to a half. Then we have 3x minus 2 is equal to 0, 3x is equal to 2, x is equal to 2 over 3. Now remember you are not done. After you solve for your y or your x, you must go back and solve again for your x or y. So in the first question, we solve for y. In the second question, we solve for x. Now you're going to go back, you're going to go back and you're going to solve for y. It is easier to take the formula that you, where you had made y the subject of the formula. But it doesn't matter which formula you substitute in. You will still come to the same answer. I am going to choose y is equal to 2 minus 2x. So we have y is equal to 2 minus 2 and x is a half. Which will give us y is equal to 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1. And in this case we have y is equal to 2 minus 2 into 2 over 3 y is equal to 2 minus 4 over 3 so y is equal to 2 over 3. Now it is advisable to get into the habit of writing it as coordinates. It is not always required they don't always say that you should but later when you are doing graphs it becomes very handy. So this answer is a half and 1, in other words my x and my y, and this one is 2 over 3 and 2 over 3. Remember when you are doing simultaneous equations, the method is not difficult, but the simplifying is very difficult. Very often we find that pupils do not simplify the square correctly. They always end up with things like 4 plus 4x squared. So they square the 2 and then they square the 2x but they forget about our smiles. Be careful a long cut is usually a wrong cut so try and write it out and do it correct. Each question weighs about 8 marks in the final matric exam. Thank you for watching.